guess what? I lost the paper, scissors, rock against Amy, but I see it more of a reward because it is warm in here. The water is great in the globe. Um, my voice might sound a little bit echoey because um, it's quite confined, this space, but it's really quite cozy and I could stay in here for a very long time. Now I'm going to be going down a zigzag hill, which you would have probably seen before. It's pretty exciting. You should do this at some stage in your life when you get a bit of um, extra pocket money. But definitely well worth coming to the Zorb here in Rotorua. And I found out that they have one uh, over in the States, which is uh, pretty cool. They've got a franchise as well. So um, I'm going to go check this out and uh, see how I go going down the zigzag. So I'll see you guys at the bottom. Smile for the camera, thumbs up there. Oh, it's coming out feet first, nice and slow. Ella was so cute and she even got our microphone sock. Funny, that was so hilarious. She's a little playful thing, isn't it was, she? It was very cool. Now we've had a pretty cool day here. So right now we're heading off to Jaden's birthday with uh, Dougal. Oh, sounds pretty choice. Yeah. Join us next.
I hope you're enjoying the tour of Paradise Valley Spring. It's so cool, it's beautiful spring water, so crystal clear. I know, and look at all the amazing huge trout in there. I can't believe how big they are. Um, there's actually a sign that was up just back there that said that they can live up to four to six years old. And they were introduced to New Zealand in 1883. Uh, they came from the Russian River in California over in America. So a bit of interesting history there for you. And uh, now they are here in good old New Zealand, Rotorua. That's right. So we've got some, um, some awesome food here. This is trout and duck food here. And we've also got some food and pellets for the other animals as well. So they've been yumming it up, actually. They're actually jumping jumping out of the water. I, I wasn't expecting it for fish to jump out of the water um, for the food there, but uh, pretty exciting to come down here and feed them. <laughs> so exciting. Let's continue our journey, Amy. We're now checking out the treetop canopy backing onto the Mamaku Ranges. That's right, home by day to native birds, wild pigs and deer. But by night to the owl, the bat and the opossums. Wild eels are rare in this area, except for Lake Tarawera. And some of them live over 80 years in age. We better not feed these ones, Amy. There's a sign that says, please do not feed the eels in this pool. Oh man. Here we are at the underwater viewing platform, which is very cool. Man, those trout are huge. Oh. They'd look pretty good on my dinner table. I wish I brought my fishing rod, Amy. <laughs> Well, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back right after this cartoon. This is where the expression water off a duck's back comes from. Look at that, all those bubbles. Is it, does it mean a duck's under the water? Yeah, it does. Look at that, look, look over there. He just popped up. Look at them, they just popped oh. up. That's Man, crazy. That's, that's some waterproofing. Look how the water just drips off the back, eh? That's, if only our rain jackets were that waterproof. I know, or our skin. That's where the saying water off a duck's back comes from. We're at the New Zealand water bird wetlands, and um, they look like they're looking for something. Probably food, Worms. eh? Worms. Worms at the bottom, I think. <laughs> It's funny, Amy, because the guys are better looking than the girls here. Um, the girls are the brown ones, which are the plain looking ones, and the guys are the pretty ones with the pretty colours. It's kind of I know, different. it's like a complete reversal from, um, from human life, isn't it, Ken? You know, the men are normally the ugly ones. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> That'll do, don't care, that'll do. These look like some pretty cool kids. Hey, what school do you guys go to? Hmm. 
Oh, wow, it's a pig. What a babe. <laughs>